Today on Florida Sportsman Best Boat, we'll be testing an offshore fishing platform with ample family features, the Seaborn LX26. It's really nice to see a boat that has all the amenities that you need on the water and that is affordable. For those who desire a true offshore hybrid fishing machine, we'll be looking at the Young 27. Young Boats is a truly custom boat shop that only builds a boat to order and deals directly with the buyer for a complete custom build experience. And for the innovative angler wanting versatility and quality in a stylish package, we'll be taking a look at the Creval 33 CSF. Creval is known for building high-end bay boats with plenty of creature comforts. All coming up on Florida Sportsman Best Boat. What's the best boat for you? Whether you desire precision while pulling across the shallowest of flats, the ability to roam a variety of destinations from inshore to offshore, no boundaries while in vast expanses of open ocean, or you just want to create lasting memories with friends and family on the water, join Florida Sportsman's trusted boating experts as they review the latest from today's most popular boating manufacturers to help you decide which is the best boat for you. Today we're going to look at the Seaborn LX26. Now 26 is just a good size when you think about going offshore and still being able to come inshore and fish. Now Seaborn did a great job with taking the fishermen going offshore and having the family comfortable coming inshore and doing the sandbar, your favorite. I'm right with you on that size range, Lori. I tell you, that brings us one of our old friends, the Young 27 is back. The first one that we had was so fishable, they're telling me this one's even better. I can't wait to see it. Hey, wait, there's more. We're also gonna take a look at the newest model from Carvel, and this is a real offshore fishing boat, which is kind of a departure for them, the 33 CSF. And I wanna tell you what, this takes this company to a whole other level. New boats are the best part about this job. We got some great ones, let's get to it. When we come back, our hosts take a look at a boat with a modern design and great value, the Seaborn LX26. But first, let's join Best Boat hosts Rick Riles and Lori Hargrave as they teach us about Suzuki Marine's selective rotation feature in this week's power segment. Okay, Rick, I'm gonna pull the girl card right now. <laughs> when we were at lunch today, we were talking about Suzuki Motors and I got lost in the conversation you guys were talking about left and right and switching props. I don't right. have a clue what you're talking about. Let me explain it to you. What's new from Suzuki for this year? They call it selective rotation. A motor, think about it now, it either has to turn to the right, turn to the left. In a twin engine application, one motor does each. Okay? But what happens when you need to replace an engine? Or you're going to sell an engine and put a new engine on? With Suzuki's new system, from 150 to 300, you can actually change the rotation of the motor, which means you only have to carry one spare prop with you at a time. That's really good information that you just can't go buy a motor and a prop and throw it on your boat. That's how it used to work. Now it doesn't work that way. With Suzuki, you can change which motor switch. This segment brought to you by FWC, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. Welcome back to Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Join our hosts as they step aboard the Seaborn LX26, a mid-size center console designed to handle rough water and fish in comfort. The Seaborn LX26 has an overall length of 26 feet 6 inches, a beam of 9 feet 8 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 500. Built for less than favorable conditions, she has a draft of 20 inches a dead rise of 21 degrees, a weight of 5,000 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 135 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts. Guys, Seaborn today brought us their new LX26. And when I spoke to them earlier in the week, they said they designed this boat for the family who loves to go fishing. And so I'm already excited to see it today. You know, I love boats without a lot of extra bells and whistles that you don't need 
but everything that you do need, and that's what this boat speaks to me already. Yeah, the template for the LX design, Rick, you know, is really a good one. In my opinion, I mean, this is a super functional boat, and one of the things that I admire about this company is that they build boats ready to go, and that's really important to a lot of people. These boats come ready to fish. This is a very nice looking boat too. I'm really excited to see what it's gonna do on the water today. Well, if this boat's so ready to go, I say, let's go. One of the Seaborne models that we've seen a few different versions of over the years has been the LX24, and I'm a big fan of that boat. Well, new from Seaborne this year, this LX26, what a boat. Now, this is a boat that's really gonna give you all of the great attributes of the LX24, but really tailored more to the needs of a guy that wants to fish offshore primarily. Right off the bat, we're gonna talk about the size of this boat. This is a 26 and a half foot by nine and a half foot beam. Now, nine and a half foot beam is a wide boat, and I've said in past shows that the 24 really seems like a lot beamier boat than it really is. Well, this boat actually has that beam, and it's a super stable platform, and you're gonna notice that right when you step on the boat. Now, a feature that I really appreciated on this boat was the helm layout. Since I'm usually the guy at the wheel on a boat all day, I can appreciate the visibility factor. And this boat had a curved glass windshield, which was very nice. But also, I've always, you've heard me say over and over again how big a fan I am about countershaded tops and blacked out helm panels. Now that's really gonna help your visibility, especially if you're fishing. When you wanna see things on the water, you don't want glare blinding you. But also the gray underside and black tubing on your hard top. It's very, very easy to see in the sunlight on this boat and I like it. The helm is so comfortable. And the seating with the bolsters that you could flip up and lean back into to run standing up or flip down and run sitting down are both positioned perfectly to make it a very comfortable ride. This is a glass 24 inch one piece display that recesses into the helm. More importantly, this is an information display system that integrates with the Seaborne electronics and switching. I spent a lot of time today on the seat in front of the helm. It was actually my favorite. The cooler was right underneath me, and I really like the fact that they put a divider in the cooler. It makes it so nice to be able to separate your food and your drinks from one another. Also, two cup holders and safety rails on that seat. Really enjoyed it. What makes this so comfortable up at the bow is definitely these combing bolsters with plush cushions and removable backrest. Another cool feature for the family is the storage lockers under the bow seating. They're soft clothes, which makes it really nice so those little fingers don't get caught. The console provides you with so much storage that you can put a head in the boat if you want. It's an option. But if you don't, all those cushions in the bow that are removable can fit in that console along with your bags. That shows you how much room you have. I've said it time and time again, one thing that I really appreciate about Seaborne boats is their access to systems. All the systems access from the bilge on the boat is really a wide open space you can get to everything in your bilge. Access to all your electronic systems at the helm panel are easy from a standing position inside the console. You can reach everything there and see it well and get to it immediately. Also the batteries are very accessible and your switching for the batteries also very accessible. The stern seating on the LX26 is permanent but beneath it is a big oval live well. There's also a smaller live well over in the port corner. So this LX26 is set up for the fishermen and the family. That walkthrough transom door is great for your snorkelers and just getting on and off the boat at the sandbar. That dive door now, if you're diving, of course, easy to sit back with dive tanks, go on back, catch a fish, or if you're at the dock, just easy transfer of your friends and family to get on and off the boat. The LX26 is max rated for 500 horsepower, and that means two engines. This boat with twin 250s is gonna make you feel really good about getting way offshore in the blue water, and you're gonna feel confident about the boat's ability to get you home. After having a chance to run this LX26 in some really rough conditions in the St. Lucie Inlet, I can see this boat is gonna be a great addition to their line. This is a boat that's gonna get you offshore, and if it was to satisfy the needs of the blue water fishermen, I think they absolutely hit the mark. Let me tell you, I learned today I want another day on the Seaborne LX26. Gosh, that St. Lucie Inlet was choppy. I thought it was going to be rough handling. Handled like a dream. I want a day offshore on this boat. I've always liked the design of the LX24. It's been a great boat for me. In my opinion, I really like the way that boat runs, and I like the deck layout. And this 26-footer is just more of that. It's the same kind of layout, just in a bigger boat. You can put a couple more people on the boat. And it's got a lot of new amenities added to it as well. It's a cool boat. Well, speaking of amenities, I felt like it was the perfect amount, 
not overpowering the boat because it kept the boat open, it kept it clean, but you had every functionality that you need to be comfortable in the water. I didn't find anything not to like. There was plenty of real estate and everything you needed for amenities. I'm glad we got to spend the time on it, we did. When we return, our hosts examine an offshore fishing boat built with true hybrid capabilities, the Young 27. This segment brought to you by Ocean Tamer, the marine beanbag of choice among tournament fishermen, captains, and boaters worldwide. This is why we call them Ocean Tamer. Total body support and comfort. Shock absorbing marine beanbag chairs. Ocean Tamer, the most comfortable seat on board. Crafted from 100% marine grade materials. Built tough to handle the harsh marine environment. Water repellent. UV stabilized. Ocean Tamer marine beanbags. Four awesome styles. Tons of color choices. Can be personalized with boat name or logo. Finally, two nylon handles for ease of carrying or stowing. Order yours today. Ocean-Tamer.com. Welcome back to Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Join our hosts as they step aboard the Young 27, a semi-custom center console built for angling success in blue water. The Young 27 has an overall length of 27 feet 7 inches, a beam of 9 feet 4 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 600. Designed to venture offshore, she has a draft of 17 inches, a dead rise of 20 degrees, a dry weight of 5,900 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 150 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts. Guys, today we're on the Young 27, and I am fascinated by the fact that we can go miles offshore and then come in and draft 17 inches of water. You bring up a good point, Lori. You know, this is a boat that definitely does have a lot of different personalities. In fact, they build the Young 27 in seven different configurations. And this is entirely different from any Young 27 I've seen with the forward seating and the oversized top. I mean, there's really a lot of opportunities to build this the way you want it. What fascinates me is the company as a whole. They've been in business for 23 years now. Rob and Dante Young have been building boats. Do you know 90% of the people that ever bought a Young boat still own a Young boat of one description or another? The model we tested this season was a boat designed with features that would be useful specifically for anyone interested in offshore fishing. This model arrived with a full-size hardtop that provided not only abundant shade, but a secondary observation platform for spotting fish from as well. A very cool custom touch to this hardtop was a recessed pocket molded into the top to accommodate a curved Lumatech Razor light bar for night running. For the less nimble boater, access to the upper level is made simple through the inclusion of a rear position ladder to the hardtop that eliminates the need to snake your way through a porthole or a hatch in the hardtop deck. The helm on the Young 27 was equipped with a pair of Simrad units and an easily viewable recessed setback face. The console interior also provides plenty of room for dry storage and a marine head. Now something about the Young 27 that definitely bears mentioning is the boat's shallow water capability. The specs for draft indicates that Young 27 draws 17 inches loaded, and although I've never put a tape in the water to it, every time I get in one of these boats, it seems like we can float in impossibly shallow water. This comes in handy if you want to use the 36-volt trolling motor that our test boat was set up with for some backwater angling. Should you find the weather less than ideal for a trip to the blue water one day, this ability makes honest inshore fishing as a bailout plan a viable option. With optional triple live wells across the stern, you answer every fisherman's need if he's a live bait fisherman. But you know what? They make great storage boxes if you're not fishing on that particular day. I can't imagine a kind of fishing that you would want to do from a young 27 that it didn't have the tackle station for. It has got spool leaders, it has got tackle drawers, it'll hold a dozen different tackle trays, knife holders, removable cutting boards. If you don't have the kind of tackle you need for the fishing you want to do that day, don't blame it on the boat. Rob hooked up on a huge sandbar shark today and it was really fun watching him fight that fish and work the boat in a complete 360. Having four kids, Dante really wanted this Ford seating, which includes two storage compartments, wraparound cushions, and dual swing out backrests. In front of the console was a built-in cooler with a cushion for another seat and a cushion backrest. I was really impressed with the transom layout. The cushions slide into a track, making it so you can just flip them up or flip them down for access to the live wells along 
with two removable backrests that just slide right into the rod holders. A pair of large insulated fish holes to port and starboard are located below the cockpit deck to keep your catch iced. A center position access point into the bilge includes a lift out storage liner that reveals easy access to your pumps and fittings for service or maintenance. Hey guys, we all kind of knew what we were in for today with the Young 27. We've ridden that hull numerous times, but I was not prepared to be on one that was as family friendly and as comfortable as this one was. Rick, you're exactly right. This one is built for the family. Rob Young actually built this for his family. They have four kids, and you can tell they put a lot of thought into this. This is set up for everyone. The fact is, some boats come in so many different configurations, and this one in particular, there's seven different versions of it. And you think, you know, you change one or two little things, but this is an entirely different boat than the other Young 27 we featured on Best Boat. And it really brings up a good point about Rob's ability to tailor the needs of a boat to the person that wants to buy it. It's not one boat fits all, it's we're gonna make a boat to fit you. George, people buy boats for lots of different reasons and they buy them for different seasons. Sometimes a guy keeps a boat a year or two. Sometimes you want a lifetime boat. You want a boat that is built for George Labonte or built for Lori Argrave. This is what Young Boats can do for you. One of the great advantages of a custom builder and one of the reasons we love Young Boats so much. When we come back, our hosts step aboard an innovative boat with all the right family and fishing amenities, the Creval 33 CSF. This segment brought to you by Yamaha. Reliability starts here. Your time on the water is precious. You return season after season to make unforgettable memories, fight a few fish, reconnect with friends, and recenter yourself. If you count on having this time, you need an outboard you can count on to power it. That's why boaters stay with Yamaha for the long run, for life. They know reliability starts here. Welcome back to Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Join our hosts as they check out the Creval 33 CSF a center console offshore fishing platform with innovative amenities that will please the entire family. The Creval 33 CSF has an overall length of 33 feet 2 inches, a beam of 10 feet 6 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 900. Designed for blue water adventures with the family, she has a draft of 22 inches, a dead rise of 20 degrees, a weight of 8,000 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 300 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts. Guys, we're on a really cool boat today. This is the Creval 33 CSF, and it's kind of a departure for Creval. Now, these guys have done a great job really getting a handle on the bay boat hybrid market, and this is their first real foray into a purely blue water boat with a lot of bells and whistles. George, bells and whistles, you said it. There's so much going on here. I can't wait to get into this boat and just dig around and find out what all these cubbies are and the coolers and where they have everything placed. This boat looks like it's got it all. Yeah, very well may, Lori, but let me tell you something. This is Creval's first entry into the blue water market. They brought a 33. I see so much stuff that came from outside eyes and new eyes into this type of boat. I cannot wait to spend some time on it. Creval took all the desirable traits of their 24 to 26 foot models and expanded not only the usable deck footprint to accommodate a larger group on board, they also expanded the offshore possibilities and range into the distant blue water arena. The solid feeling ride offered by the 33 CSF in the big water is due in part to Creval's resin infusion manufacturing process. This crimp process assures consistent material to resin proportion throughout the entire structure. The Creval 33 posted some pretty impressive performance numbers rigged with a pair of 400 horse Verado. From a standing start, she'll reach 30 miles an hour in just over seven seconds with a top speed of 60 miles an hour at 6,700 RPM. From both the range and economy standpoint, she also put up good scores, including 475 miles of range at cruise while offering better than one mile per gallon all the way up to 50 miles an hour with the best cruising economy coming in at 1.6 miles per gallon at 34 miles an hour. I tend to look at all boats from a fisherman's point of view and right away noticing that she had three live wells was super to me because one of them was in front of the console. That is so nice when you see a fish and you want to cast at him from the bow. 
Chad Jaros from Caval hooked a beautiful cobia, which immediately attracted the attention of a big bull shark. Speed was of the essence, let me tell you, and Chad made three 360 degree laps around that boat, keeping the cobia away from the bull shark. We finally gaffed him, got him in the boat, and let me tell you something, it was important that we had the room to maneuver. Now, having the two 70 inch fish boxes in the deck meant we could have taken a whole lot more, but we were more than thankful to have the one we got. Listen up, it's even got a slide out mezzanine seating in the pit, fantastic helm station tackle storage, and even enough rod racks to start your own tackle shop on the rocket launcher. All this adds up to the Craval 33 Sport Fish, giving no quarter as a serious tournament fisherman. We had port and starboard bow seating with open storage. Behind the bow seating backrest is a table with built-in cup holders and more storage. Another great feature for comfort is the lounge seat in front of the console had to have been one of the most comfortable lounge chairs I have ever sat on. Curvel provides custom upholstery with contoured seating and cushions with multi-density foam that provides maximum endurance and comfort. Inside the console today, you had a head, sink, and rod storage. But the best part is the standing room. I actually went in there and put my arms all the way up and still could not touch the ceiling. That shows you how much room you actually have in there. Guys, today was amazing. Not only did we have the Cravel family on the boat today, we were able to see exactly what this boat was built for. Well, I think you're right. And I was constantly surprised what a new set of eyes. I saw more things today that I never knew I needed and now I feel like I can't live without. All this kind of stuff can you add to your boat. And I got worried about the boat being too busy. Then we've got a bull shark chasing a cobia around the boat seamlessly. Work like a champ. Yeah, you know what? I mean, I never expect anything less than excellence when I jump on a corral boat here. And it sounds like a lot to say. I mean, it is too. But something that really jumps out at me about these boats, and this was no exception, is there's quality in the build all over it. There's a lot of creature comfort, but the boat's still fishable. And for the guy that wants to use a boat just for offshore fishing and have all that comfort, this boat right here is a serious boat to have a look at. Rick, you were right. You said we had three incredible boats this week, and we did. But guess what, guys? We got three more next week, and I'm excited. Listen, if you want any more information about the boat you saw today or any boat you see on Florida Sportsman's Best Boat, visit us on the web. Or we'll see you next week with another episode of Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Make sure to join us next week on Florida Sportsman Best Boat as we take a look at the Robalo R230, the Grady White Freedom 235, and the Contender 35ST.